So our first question is going to come from Sanjita Patel from Entertainment Tonight Canada. Hello, Sanjita. Brett, it's hey. wonderful to see you. Congratulations to you. I mean, this is a moment, 20 nominations, your first nomination. You're a writer. We see Hannah winning. Are you taking all this in, this moment, what Ted Lasso actually means to so many people out there? Uh, I'm, I mean, it's, I'm struggling to take any of this in because it's um, so surreal. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> and also, I didn't realize we were up so quickly. So I thought, oh, there'll be some time to settle into the ceremony. And then they were singing and dancing. And then suddenly they were calling our names. I was like, what is going on? Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I, I, maybe ask me in a week if I've made sense of any of this. Congratulations. Thank you, Sanjita. Thank you, Sanjita. Next up, Andrew Freund from Dish Nation. Fred, I, uh, congratulations. First, I want to ask you, what were you saying that we could not hear on stage? What exactly were you saying? Oh, did they bleep it? Oh, yeah. They bleeped you uh, a good chunk. Oh, no, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't, but the, 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 truthfully, I don't know what I said. Uh, it's all a blur, but I, I mean, it was probably swearing, right? I don't know how much bleeping went on. Yeah, yeah, probably. How um, much did you hear? What do you make did... of, I, I, no, I, I heard a good chunk, but then I think you were swearing, so they just kind of took out the swears. <laughs> but I yeah. want to know, what do you make of the success of the show and why it's not just the U.S. that's fallen in love with the show, yeah. it's the entire world. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Look, tr truthfully, I don't think any of us thought anyone would watch it, let alone like it, let alone all this. Uh, but I do think it sort of s speaks to how starved people were to see sort of people trying to be better and kinder. And, you know, I think it, I think it probably speaks to that is why it sort of resonated so much, because it felt so unusual. It's like, oh, we needed this. And it, it says more about what was going on than necessarily what we were doing, you know? Last question, how will you celebrate tonight? Are you gonna party, are you gonna drink? Kind of take me through uh, your night. Uh, I, I believe both of those things will be happening. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. And next up, we have Libby Hill from IndieWire. Hey, Brett, congratulations. Well, uh, hey, how are you? I, I don't know. Hey, how are you? Good to see they you. They told you not to swear. That's what you get bleeped when you swear. That's, oh. you know, they, they kind of laid it out all out for you. Uh, I have to ask, you know, we famously heard you were cast as Roy Kent after submitting your own, own mm. submission tape. Um, how do you feel about that decision now as you stand backstage at the Emmys, uh, holding the Emmy for a supporting actor in a comedy series? I mean, do you think I, it's good? I feel like I'm, I'm pretty glad I took the risk. Uh, I, feel, I feel pretty glad I took the risk. Sure. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. Congratulations, Brett. You are uh, you're a marvel. Thank you, Libby. Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Um, I also want to welcome your colleague, Hannah Waddingham. Come on over. Come join, Brett. You both, both have matching pieces of hardware Can there. Is this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this her thing? Hello, hello, hello. Hi there. Come in, come in, come in. It is, it is. Hello. By the way, everyone, uh, please raise your hand if you have a question that you would like to ask Hannah or Brett, and then we can get you in line. We can get you in line. Hello, hello. Okay, hello. excellent. What Hi, we're going to do now is Heather Brooker from NBC Digital. Heather, the question is all yours. Hello, hello, congratulations, hello. you guys. I'm Heather with NBC in Los Angeles. Um, we absolutely love Ted Lasso. We cannot wait for every episode when it comes out. And um, Hannah, I have to say, I teared up during your speech. You were so emotional. Um, I also have a daughter. I would love to know what, how you're going to talk to your daughter about this. Does she know, is she watching? And truly what this means for you as a mom. Thank you for asking that question because I was so overwhelmed. If I'd just sworn for a minute, I wouldn't have been surprised. My little girl and I have become such a little unit because I am a single mom. 
And I just wanted to say to her that she can have this in her bedroom to show her that her mummy will only ever be away when it's for a really blooming good reason. <laughs> and I think it shows her that, you know, if when she's older, she just has to fight that little bit harder and magical things happen. I love that. I love that. And last question for you guys. What is it about this show that has resonated so much with people around the world? It's, you see, it's hard for him to answer this because he's in the writer's room and they are all the most ridiculously, annoyingly modest people on the planet. You know, they are, for, to be in both camps, I, just, I get a bit overwhelmed by this one. But I, I just think that they, the people that are in that room, the chemistry in that room affords us to have chemistry. And it's like a perfect alchemy. Thank you so much, Heather. And now our final question. This is going to be a brief one by Ali Rosenblum with E! News. Hi, congratulations. Hey. Hi there. Um, Hannah. What did you think when Seth Rogen maybe accidentally mispronounced your last name? Oh, I didn't hear that. That's brand new information to me. <laughs> He's dead. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> Waddington. I didn't, I, to be honest. Oh, uh, what did he say? It. Waddington. Oh, man. I'm going to call him <laughs> Seth Ragin. <laughs> uh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Ali. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.